It's the uh, 24th of February 2005, and uh, today we're going to start to preserve and fix the giant squid Archituthus, the specimen that we've uh, recently got from the uh, Falkland Islands. Uh, it's quite a rare specimen for us because uh, very few Archituthus specimens are caught live and are so complete. So um, we're really excited about adding this to the collections. Uh, at the moment, we're just trying to free the last bits of ice off the uh, specimen just to make it so it's not as damaged as easily when we move it. And then a bit later on, we'll be unrolling it across the length of the tank room, doing some measurements of all the different bits, and then fixing it with formalin uh, so that we can put it into its final bath of formalin to preserve it. That'll take about a month. After the squid was caught, the specimen was frozen, and then it was shipped over from the Falkland Islands to the UK. At this point here, we're just removing the last areas of ice from the squid. This was quite a lot harder than we'd imagined it would be because there was a problem with keeping uh, the tentacles from rotting whilst we had to allow the thick mantle on the head to defrost at the same speed. This is us moving the squid uh, from the stretcher uh, to the tank room. It was really heavy and it took about 12 of us to carry it safely. We were not able to weigh the squid, but I would guess it probably weighed around 250 to 300 kilograms. Giant squid, like all squid, have eight arms and two tentacles. Here the tentacles are still folded around the body. The next stage in the process was to stretch out the specimen to its full length. This meant that we could take the measurements that we needed to study the specimen and also then it would be in its final position for fixation. The tentacles that we're showing here are 6.3 meters long and this makes the whole specimen about 8.62 meters in length. The giant squid uses these long tentacles to grab prey, which it drags into the arms and into the beak, where it cuts up the food so it can be passed into the body for digestion. At this stage, we're just keeping the giant squid moist as we're preparing the fixation. Uh, this stops the specimen from drying out, which would damage it before we preserve it. The next step was to inject the squid with 10% formal saline solution. This is to get the fixation to the center of the thick mantle so that the specimen does not begin to rot from the inside out. This is quite a hazardous chemical and so we are required to wear full safety gear and breathing apparatus. Once this process was complete, we transferred the squid to the fixing tank this again was filled with formal saline solution and allowed the whole specimen to undergo the fixation process. The tank was constructed from wood and butyl rubber lining and was housed in a special tent to reduce the amount of hazardous fumes given off. 